So with the Olympics this year happening straight after Wimbledon and on the clay of Roland Garros, we have some big withdrawals from the Olympics already with the tournament only about a month or so away, or about six weeks away. Let's go see who's actually pulled out of the Olympics because there's some massive top 10 players that won't be there. We're starting on the ladies' side, and we start with the big one. Arena Sabalenka is not going to be at the Olympics. She has pulled out of the event, saying that the schedule is a little bit too crazy, going from Wimbledon to then the clay of Roland Garros, and then going to the US Open Series. Of course, she is the finalist of the US Open, so has a lot of points to defend. So she will not be there. Samsonova also pulled out of the Olympics this year, so she won't be there. Elise Mertens also decided not to play. And Murata Kanu has also decided decided not to play the Olympics. She, I guess, was offered a wild card, but then said, I don't want it. So she won't be there. And Pella Bedosa has also pulled out of the Olympics saying that she wants to focus on Wimbledon. And then of course, focusing on the hard courts after that. Then over to the men's side and Andre Rublev, he will not be at the Olympics. The number six in the world, he won't be there. And he was the mixed doubles champion at the Olympics last time around. So big name missing there. Ben Shelton also deciding not to play the Olympics this year, the number 14 in the world. And Karin Hashinov, also deciding against playing the Olympics this year. Again, a lot of these players are deciding because it's going from grass to clay to hard court. It's just not worth the risk. There it is. Massive names there. Sabalenka Rublev, both not going to be there. That is massive on the women and men's side. We're not going to see those two players playing. And of course, both of them would have had to play under a neutral banner or the individual neutral athletes banner because they are from Belarus and Russia. And of course, they're not allowed to be represented, but they are allowed to play. But man, there are some big names. And again, Hashinov's another one. Not going to be there. Samson over another one. Again, under that same banner. So really sad to see that they're not going to be there. But you can't really fault them for not playing. or not trying to risk playing on grass, hard courts, and clay all within the same month. Uh, some players have decided not to play Wimbledon. Like Rafa Nadal. He's not playing Wimbledon to stay on the clay and avoid, you know, the surface change, which can cause injuries going quickly from... I mean, even from, from the French Open to Wimbledon is a quick turnaround for some players that, and they do get injured that way. So massive names there. But let me know down in the comments below. Who are you going to miss the most from this year's Olympics? It's going to be sad not seeing Sabalenka there, I reckon, because, you know, she was a serious medal chance, I reckon, with the fact that she's, you know, made a couple of finals on, on clay this year. Her not being there, I guess it helps Fiontech a little bit. You know, she's the favorite, of course, to win the gold. But man, it's disappointing that she's not going to be there for this one. But she'll probably get another chance in four years' time in LA. But there it is. That is the initial withdrawal list from the Olympics. And some big names are going to be missing.